everyone. I just wanted to do a quick check-in. I haven't uh, posted anything since last week. Um, we haven't had a chance to do a full-length episode yet, um, so I wanted to just do a quick check-in, do another little mini episode. Um, we're actually moving um, this week. We just completed our move um, from uh, our home in upstate New York to an apartment in Weehawken, New Jersey. So. Um, we've been a little bit busy, a little bit behind on things, um, but I am in the store today and I wanted to feature some of our minerals. Last week we talked about fossils and um, we got some good feedback on that and that, so today I thought we would talk a little bit about minerals. So I'm going to turn the camera around and I'm going to show you a little bit about what we have in terms of our mineral collection right now. So this is our big cabinet where we keep a lot of our larger minerals and then I'll show you we have some smaller ones as well. We have some really interesting pieces from Australia up here, um, which I could definitely go more into detail in another episode because those are so beautiful. Um, we have some points. Um, points are a very popular shape for us. A lot of people like to have them. So we have those. These are some really interesting natural agate slices. A lot of the times we have agate and it's been dyed. Um, but these are all natural, so they're really pretty. We have some very unique spheres. We were really lucky. We found some very good spheres on our last buying trip, so we were able to snatch some of those. Um, this is our pyrite collection, which I could do a whole thing on pyrite. Um, the cubic pyrite is from Spain, and the one that has more of a crystalline structure is from Peru. Look how shiny those are. Um, but they're all 100% natural. Um, we have bismuth, which that is grown in a lab, um, and it has the most interesting sort of kind of stair-steppy shape. Very interesting and unusual. Um, so this also, this is um, two different types of quartz, um, which has been coated with titanium on the right and zirconium on the left. So we have uh, zirconium, plated quartz on the left and titanium coated quartz on the right. Very interesting. Um, we have some um, obsidian, which ha we have lots of different shapes. We have hearts and uh, raven skulls and points and spheres and some labradorite in the back. We have some quartz um, points and crystals. Um, we have some calcanthite, that's the really deep uh, blue one. These are some larger pieces of hematite and that's the one that I want to focus on today. I'm going to show you some different types of hematite that we have and um, hopefully those will be of interest. Um, those in the back, the, um, the, the, the quartz points that are kind of like crackly, um, that's called crackle quartz. That's one of my new favorite kinds that we found. It looks like shattered glass but it's completely natural. Um, we have some rose quartz points and some smoky quartz crystals, lots and lots of different types. And so I'm going to show you, so those are the larger pieces, but now I'm going to show you what we have that's smaller, because a lot of times people want to have, you know, just a little something to either, um, you know, keep in their pocket or, or a small piece to have at home. This is smoky citrine. Um, we have some fluorite, which comes in these really cool octahedron shapes and also double terminated pieces. So double terminated means it has a point on both ends. So those are some of the smaller minerals that we have. We have blue calcite, rose quartz, yellow calcite, sardonyx. These are really interesting. They have very cool banded um, you know sort of uh, texture to them. Very interesting and unusual. Uh, we also have little tiny hearts, um, which are adorable. Um, we did very well with our amethyst hearts. We featured those a few weeks ago. People really seem to like those. Very adorable. Um, and uh, calcanthite again, that's that really deep blue one that we had in the case. And um, that is also lab grown, but it's very interesting and unusual. Um, it really looks like it's from another planet. But anyway, so what I wanted to focus on today is actually hematite. 
So as you saw in the case, we have some larger pieces, and these are the smaller ones. So these are available on our website. We have um, two different sizes available on our website. Um, these are natural hematite from Australia. Um, we have a $19 size and a $32 size. As you can see, um, they're pretty they're pretty sizable, um, and they have these really interesting um, texture to them. Some of them have these sort of bumpy texture like this. I forget what the name for this texture is exactly, um, but it looks like it's kind of like boiling over. Um, it's all bubbly. And then some of them have more of like a shard type um, texture to them where it looks like a piece of, of broken glass or something like that. They're both very interesting and unusual. And so hematite um, gets its name, um, actually means blood red stone. So as you can see on this piece a little bit, there's a little bit of this red, uh, kind of rust red color to it. Um, it's mainly composed of iron, so I think that's where it gets its, um, its coloring from, is that iron composition. And um, so if you, you know, like a hemophiliac, right, someone who has like a blood disorder. So uh, hematite comes from that same root. And that's referencing, I think, this um, kind of reddish color that you see on some specimens. And there are lots of different types of hematite. Um, so there's this natural type that we that we have been featured that we've sort of introduced to our um, our product line relatively recently. We have these hematite pieces, and then these are more of the classic ones that we've had for a really long time. And these are magnetized hematite. So the hematite is then artificially magnetized, and it becomes these really, really powerful magnets. Um, so we sell these in lots of different shapes. These are small. As you can see, they're extremely powerful. You can create a chain with like a bunch of them and they will stick together. Um, they're one big, one big pile. And at least once a day, somebody will sort of grab the whole thing in the store here because they wanna see how strong it really is. And then it'll crash completely onto the floor. So that happens at least once a day, which is fine. We expect that. They're really fun to play with. Um, you can't sort of get enough. They are just really, you can see like they're so, such strong magnets, really, really strong. <laughs> and um, just a lot of fun to play with. So they make a great, um, great gift for kids. I wouldn't recommend them for kids under three um, because there are small pieces. So it would be a choking hazard, but you know, older kids would really get a kick out of this. And then we have these um, bullet-shaped uh, uh, hematite magnets, which, oops, see, <laughs> as I said, they're really powerful magnets and they kind of fly all over. Um, these are really cool. If I had both of my hands available, I would um, show you how you kind of like throw these up and they zing together. But you can get kind of a sense of that. A little bit if I can do it. Anyway, <laughs> you'll just have to trust me. If you can throw them up together, they'll sort of join in the air and they'll go zing. So it's really fun, hours of entertainment. Um, yeah, they're really powerful magnets. So we always tell people when they buy them to um, make sure not to keep them next to their credit cards or computer parts because they will demagnetize them. They're just that strong. So something to keep in mind. Um, but yes, yeah, so I wanted to highlight this particular group of minerals that we have. Um, we have natural hematite, as I said, um, which is a relatively new addition to our product selection. And then we have our magnetized hematite, which is artificially magnetized, um, which we have been carrying for maybe 25 years. And this is so, this is a really classic product that people love. We have them in different price points, different shapes. And um, yeah, it's kind of an essential, essential piece of um, an evolution starter kit. So I wanted to bring those to everyone's attention. Let me switch back. Yeah, so thanks for joining us, you guys. And um, we will pop in next week with hopefully a full length episode, but if not, we will at least do a little mini episode and um, highlight something else cool that we have available. All right, talk to you soon. Thanks, bye.